We have always felt that the two main purposes of the DMK app are to be a configuration tool for the DMK boxes we sell and to be a diagnostic tool for other onboard electronics. To this end, the key improvements that we've made in the new DMK app are a Wi-Fi profiles feature that allows you to easily customize the DMK box settings and to save those settings in case something happens to your box. The new Wi-Fi profiles feature in the DMK app allows you to easily customize and save your settings of your DMK box. Settings like your SSID, your passcode, and the number and location of streaming endpoints are easily configured using a wi the Wi-Fi profiles feature. Also inside that feature is the ability to change the connection from ad hoc to infrastructure mo mode, allowing the DMK box to associate with another onboard router that may have access to the internet. With regards to diagnostics, the main improvement inside the DMK app is the stationary packet log. The packet log is now easier to read and gives a summary of values for packets that we parse. This makes it easy for a user to see if the onboard electronics are properly connected and sending messages through the DMK box. Other new features inside the DMK app are logging triggers, the CTOK to NEMA 0183 on-off switch, and over-the-air firmware updates. Logging triggers allow a user who has their box in infrastructure mode and connected to the internet to send selected data to the web for monitoring. The CTOK to NEMA 0183 trigger allows a user who has our current firmware installed to turn on and off CTOK to NEMA 0183 translation. A user may want to turn on translation to access a wider variety of apps that can only use NEMA 0183 data. Probably the most exciting new feature inside the DMK app is the over-the-air firmware updates. Over the years, we have improved the firmware that we sell inside the DMK box. Now, a user with an older box can easily update the firmware to the current firmware that we sell inside our boxes today. You simply go into the settings menu, tap on firmware update, and follow the prompts. It's simple and easy. The most notable new feature inside the new firmware is the CTOK to NEMA 0183 translation, and users with Raymarine instruments will definitely want to try that out.